What's up, guys? So, it's April 20th. It's my birthday today. And um, I'm going to hopefully fly and not crash my birthday present, which is this beautiful Dynam P47 Hun Hunter. Also, I have the Tempest fixed. Um, as you guys remember from the last video, the nose broke completely off of it. I put hot water to it. Got it to expand back out as much as I possibly could. She's still a little crooked, like it. She's coming off this way a little bit, but it's not bad. It doesn't hurt the flight much. Um, the engine's making a funky sound. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fly it until it goes, and then when she burns out, she burns out. Uh, hopefully, I don't destroy a battery and an airframe in the same time. If you'll notice, I have the brand new wings on these. These came from the scratch and dent. And basically these wings here, <clears throat> they didn't have any of the green camouflage. You see how the tail has the green camouflage, the body has the green camouflage. Well, these were not painted with the camouflage, so they're basically uh, unique because they don't have that paint scheme on them. They're basically just uh, gray wings, um, <clears throat> kind of like you would find on like a, like a Corsair or something, just the gray with no camo in it. Um, but yeah, we're going uh, we're gonna to fly the Tempest first just so I can get my bearings and then... Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to try the P-47. Um, crossing my fingers, I just got that plane. I just put it together. Uh, one of the retracts, Dynam, of course, didn't work when I first got it. So I had to monkey with it to get it to work. So I've got both sets of retracts working on the planes. Um, fairly good. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pause the video right here. I'm going to do a couple of little taxis. And uh, we're going to get the Tempest in the air. Hopefully. I'm just waiting for the wind to come in a direction in which I want to take off. I want to take off that way. I want to take off that way. I want to start on that side of the runway. And I want to take off that way. I want to go down that way and take off out into the field so that way I can walk. So that way I can walk through my little gap there and get out into the field as I'm flying it. And then, um, depending on how I feel, I'll probably land it in the grass, but um, there's a good possibility that there's no reason why I can't land it here. We should be able to land it on the tarmac. It's plenty wide. The only reason that this place scares me is because of this rail. Three or four times already I've gone to land a plane or, or take off with a plane and it's hit this. It's hit those metal things. It's hit the wood. Uh, I took off with the Tempest one time and she was slightly banked down to the left or to, yeah, to the left like this and she was just about ready to clear it and the wing tip clipped. That's how I busted the wing off the Tempest in the first place was because it was slightly angled down like this and the wing tip caught the edge going, you know, pretty, pretty quick, pretty fast and it just ripped the wing completely off of it. So we don't want to do that again, but all right, I'm going to pause the video guys and we're going to get into this. We're going to see if we can't get a Tempest in the air first and then uh, get this P47 rocking and rolling. Um, let's see it. Let's do it.
So we just flew the P-47 and it did absolutely wonderful and before I flew the P-47 I decided I was going to try the Tempest out again and as you can see, guess what we hit guys? 
show them the rail. Just like I said, I smashed the rail and it clipped the wing. Just like last time. That's why I don't like this place, you guys. That's why it's a great place to fly, but that is just absolutely ridiculous. So I'm gonna do a little bonus flight on the Sabre, since I just got it upgraded.